Hi, welcome to Press Play Picture House and today we are opening another five of these ancient animal mystery blind packs. There are 81 to collect. We have already collected 47 which we have placed in our activity and collector's album. Scaphites. Scaphites was a type of ammonite, a close relative of today's octopuses and squid. It lived inside a coiled shell, caught prey with its tentacles and jet propelled itself by squirting out water. As Scaphites shell grew, the opening for its head got tighter, so they often starved to death. Number 5. Hallucigenia. Hallucigenia was strange looking. At one end was a large blob that may have been a head, but it had no eyes or mouth. Along its worm-like body were rows of sharp spines and fleshy tentacles. The head may not have been a head at all, just a stain on the fossil. We're still unsure. Number 81, Woolly Mammoth. In the last ice age, woolly mammoths roamed grasslands on the edges of ice sheets. Dense fur and a thick layer of fat kept them warm in the bitter chill, but they were the favourite prey of Ice Age humans. Our sticker is a Patasaurus. Number 25, Aphigia. Aphigia looked and ran like a dinosaur, but it belonged to the same reptile family as crocodiles and alligators. It probably used its beak to crack open seeds and eggs or sheer vegetation. We already have Aphigia. Number four, Anomalocaris. Anomalocaris was probably the top predator in Cambrian seas. Finding prey with its large eyes, it had no legs. It swam by flexing its segmented body and waving flaps on its sides. We already have Anomalocaris. Number 32, Compsognathus. Running on the tips of its toes, this nimble little chicken-sized predator could easily outpace fast-moving prey. Scientists think that fuzzy feathers covered most of its body to keep it warm. Our sticker is Edmontonia. Number six, Morella. Morella was a predecessor of insects and spiders. It darted over the seabed searching for food with its long antennae. Morella's head was protected by a large shield with backward pointing spikes. We already have Morella in our collection. 55, Scaphites. Scaphites was a type of ammonite, a close relative of today's octopuses and squid. It lived inside a coiled shell, caught prey with its tentacles and jet propelled itself by squirting out water. We already have Scaphites in our collection. Number 34, Lyra Pluridon. Lyra Pluridon was a powerful swimmer capable of short bursts of speed. It may have had an excellent sense of smell, enabling it to hunt in deep waters where prey was difficult to see. Our sticker is Giganotosaurus. Card number 31, Apatosaurus. A giant plant-eating dinosaur that walked on all fours. Apatosaurus had an incredibly long neck and an even longer whip-like tail which it used to lash out at enemies. We already have Apatosaurus. Number 70, Amargosaurus. This dinosaur had two rows of long, sharp tipped spines that projected from the top of its neck. Some experts believe these spines were connected by skin webs and others think they were formed freestanding from horny spines. Number 26, Lillian Sternus. Lillian Sternus was a large, ferocious predator that ate smaller dinosaurs. It probably stalked its victims before sprinting after them on its long hind legs. 
we already have Lillian Sternus. Our sticker is Mosasaurus. Our final pack. Number seven, Terry Gotus. Terry Gotus was a sea scorpion that grew larger than a man. Using its gigantic eyes, it scanned the water for prey such as fish and trilobites, and used its clawed limbs to forage in reef crevices. We already have Terry Gotus. Number 29, Cylindrotuthis. Cylindrotuthis were like squid. They had long bodies, large brains and big eyes. From their head sprang 10 tentacles armed with suckers that were used to pull prey into the beak. We already have Cylindrotuthis. Number 78, Paraceratherium. As big as a killer whale and twice as heavy as Tyrannosaurus, Paraceratherium was the largest land mammal that ever lived. It fed by wrapping its flexible lips around branches to rip leaves off. We already have Paraceratherium. Our sticker is Mosasaurus. We have collected 53 of a possible 81 of these ancient animal cards. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, click on the links for more dinosaur videos, subscribe to Press Play Picture House, and see you next time.